Hey everybody, it's me, Bela Stray. And Sailor Queen. Hi. How are ya? And today, we're gonna be Banger Straying Lost Mars Dragos 3, Episode 4, and Banger Stray is nothing like Tudor Boo, it's a completely original concept. And this episode is referencing El Chavo and El Chapolin Colorado. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, and the first queen up was Hunty B, and honestly, she might be my favorite queen of the night, but surprisingly, she was in the bottom. Hunty's look overall, she came out as an old man and then, like, had a reveal, and I liked her look. The chaps were the only thing I didn't like, but overall, it was a bait for me. Totally agree with you. She came out with, the, like, the old man look from, like, El Chavo, I believe. I didn't really care for the chaps, but I love the makeup. I like the buns, how they were supposed to be the antennas. And I was a little surprised that, that she was in the bottom. I did not agree with that. But I will give her a bait for that look. So the next queen up, is Miss Rudy Reyes. So she had like this ballerina look. She was still going for, I believe, is El Chapolin Colorado. And she was doing like, she had the red look, but she took it like ballerina style. It was stoned from like head to toe. And to me, overall, I enjoyed the look. It looked very nice. It looked very put together. So it's a base for me. Yes, look and performance was a definite base. She was stoned head to toe, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> like us right now. Just like us. <laughs> and then there was Avisa, and she came out in this purple bondage look, but it wasn't completely sexy, it wasn't completely noticeable. I know I don't know the show, but I still didn't love it, so it was a stray for me. Yeah, I didn't care for the dress. The dress seemed very simple. Um, the only thing I did like about it was the straps, but she was clocked that the dress was ripped at the bottom. And when you go out on stage, you have to be completed from head to toe. Honestly, for that too, I'm going to have to give it a straight. <laughs> so the next queen up is Miss Madison. And actually, I'm going to head and let you go first. It actually was the same like concept as Hunty B. She came out as an old man and then did a rip away. But her rip away was more of a like dance costume on the grasshopper mascot. But I wasn't really a fan of this look, but she did look really pretty, like that she did do. So I'm gonna give this look a stray, but like it has all potentials like to be a babe, but like I'm just a bitch <laughs> and I'm gonna give it a stray. Oh my gosh, you are a bitch <laughs> because I liked it, you know, it is a simple dance costume, but I feel like it got the job done and the concept was the same as Hunty B. I wonder if like they knew that they were both gonna do that. But overall, I thought the costume was cute. Her makeup was very cute. She's like always beat. And yeah, for that, I'm gonna give it a bit. So next up, we have Memo, and he's serving star of the TV show. You know what? His look wasn't like bad, but it wasn't good. But like, because it didn't make me feel any way, like, I don't know, like, like, I want to stray it, but like, that would just be wrong. So I'm gonna <laughs> give it a bit. Like, oh my god. I <laughs> honestly, when I watched it, I enjoyed it because it brought me back to my childhood. Um, grow, like watching my parents grow up watching like El Chavo and that's who they were dressed as. They were dressed as El Chavo. So for that reason, I'm going to have to give it a bay. It's a bay for me. So the next queen up is Avise Hu. So I'm going to start off by saying that I enjoyed when she came out in the barrel because that's what the El Chavo is known for, for being mm -hmm. inside the barrel. But I seen when she started like trying to reveal everything, it just started like getting stuck. Some parts weren't coming off and you can just see in her face she was getting frustrated. So the ex execution wasn't there. Her last reveal, her last outfit, I did enjoy. I felt like it was very like El Chavo high fashion. But like the whole execution was a stray for me. I don't know. So like what would I give it? Mm. Like the execution wasn't there. I'm going to give it a bay for me. It's a bay. For me, like, you know what? The execution part really didn't bother me that much. Yeah, you could see she was frustrated. And because the, like, talent portion is so long, it was uncomfortable to watch. But that high fashion look at the end, it was like a high fashion Adore Delano. So it was, like, perfect. So, like, definite bay for me. So, next up, we have Winter. And her look was cute. Her makeup was actually cute. 
but the pants were not cute at all like the bell bottoms and like those hips they were not lying and they were just like telling all her secrets and they just like didn't make me like her as a person it was a shade for me okay well i totally disagree i like the look i like how she had the her hair were like the antennas of the chapulín colorado I enjoyed the red outfit. I like that she had like flowers around it and her makeup was cute. So I enjoyed it and I'm gonna give it a bang. It's a bang for me. So next girl up we have Miss Regina. So I'm gonna start off by saying yes, she was in the bottom. So for me, I felt like her look, I love Regina first of all, but I felt like her look was a little <laughs> basic for me. I could have, like the underwear was just there. I felt like it could have been stone. I did enjoy like the cape, but overall, like compared to all the other girls, I thought it was just a little basic to me. But I did enjoy the shoe. But for that reason, I'm gonna give it a string. It probably was the least like conceptualized outfit on the stage. She probably spent the least amount of time on it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a bad like silhouette for her overall, but like because it was like comparatively to everybody else, I'm just gonna have to give it a straight. It's only fair, honestly. I mean, poor Winter. <laughs> Oh my God. So the next queen is Miss Luna. So I'm gonna start off by saying that I loved her look. She was supposed to be the Chilindrina, the one that has the crush on El Chavo, and I loved it. I like how she was dressed like a little girl, but it still looked kind of like high fashion, so I really enjoyed it, and it's a bay for me. Yes, that look was definitely high fashion, and it was a bay for me. I don't have too much to say about it, but it was an overall great look. And I kind of like how she elevated like that grandma apron that the Mexicans are known to wear and which the character wore. As I recall, she elevated it definitely. So so next up we have Raga Queen. And Raga was really serving Christmas princess. Like, but I wasn't a fan of her little girl look. It was just trying too hard like to be a little girl. And she had a reveal, right? She did have a reveal. And then she had a reveal where she became the robber of the episode, or the robber of the show. And I don't, like, again, like, I don't really get the reference. Like, swipe or no swiping, maybe? <laughs> Am I, like, cracking codes here for, like, like Mexican TV shows? Oh my god, swipe or no swiping. <laughs> but you know what? I really wasn't a fan of it. And, like, I kind of ready for her to go home. Like, I said that at the beginning of the episode because I actually watched this episode all the way through. And she just annoyed this shit out of me. <laughs> And I want her to go home so she could go home next. It was a straight for Dang. Yeah, compared to Luna's, I didn't really enjoy Raga's little girl outfit. It was giving me very Christmas tree. It was just a little bit... It was just too big for her. I didn't really enjoy it. But the reveal was cool. I did enjoy her being the robber. I understood it. And then the fact that she was able to put the mask over her face like that instantly was pretty cool. And I heard that she did that last minute. That she wasn't going to do it. But she realized she had it. So she did it. So it worked out for her in the end. But overall, the look, I'm going to have to give it a... I'm gonna, can I give the first part a straight and then the second part a bay? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So first part, straight, second part. Straight. So the next one up is Mr. Boo. So I'm gonna start off by saying I enjoyed how it like how he constructed his El Chavo look. I'm guessing that's what it was, I think. Because it, it kind of was giving me like the Chilindrina vibes mm -hmm. as well. So I don't know if he was trying to do both or he was just going for the El Chavo look, but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it like the pleated like outfits all over each other, hanging like an overall. It was giving me high fashion as well. So for me, it's gonna be a bait. I wouldn't say it was high fashion, but for Mr. Boo, it was colorful and like, I enjoyed it. Like, I didn't expect that from him. So it was a bait for me. All right, everybody. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much, Sayora, for coming. Thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff. Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you all El Chavo fans for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Que dale un like. And hasta la otra. Bye. So, bye, babe.